Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following simultaneous equations using the substitution method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, I have two equations, x plus y equals to 5 and 3x plus 2y equals to 13. Using the substitution method, I'm going to select a variable that has a coefficient of 1 to make my work easy. Tagging the two equations above, I have the first one, x plus y equals to 5. That will be my first equation, equation 1, and the second, that's my equation 2. From equation 2, both variable has coefficient not equals to 1, so I'm going to try out using my first equation, which is x plus y equals to 5. So I have from equation 1, I have x plus y equals to 5. It's either I use x or y. For this example, I'm going to use y. So making y as my subject of formula, I have therefore y equals 5 minus x. Taking x to the other side, I'm going to tag that as my third equation. Now I have three equations. Using the substitution method for my simultaneous equation, I'm going to substitute equation 3 into my second equation. I'm not going to use my first equation because I got my subject of formula, which is y, for my first equation. So I'm going to be using my second equation this time around. And that states that 3x plus 2y equals to 13. That means every occurrence of y in my new equation or in my second equation, I'm going to be substituting with 5 minus x. So I have 3x plus 2 in bracket. My y becomes 5 minus x close bracket. I'm putting that in the bracket because it's an expression equals to 13. Expanding and collecting like terms, I have 3x plus plus 2 times 5, that's plus 10, plus 2 times minus x, that's minus 2x, equals to 13. 3x minus 2x, I have x plus 10 equals to 13. And taking 10 to the other side using the balance method, I have x equals 13 minus 10. Therefore, my x is 3. I'm going to substitute x equals to 3 into equation 3 in order to get the value of y. From equation 3, y equals 5 minus x. Therefore, replacing it with 3, I have y equals 5 minus 3. Therefore, my y equals to 2. So for this simultaneous equation, the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 2. In my second example, I have y equals to 2, y minus 2x equals to 3, that's correct in myself, and y plus 3x equals to minus 7. I'm going to tag my two equations, that's the first one, equation 1, second one, equation 2. Like I did in the previous example, to make my work easy, I'm going to select the variable that has 1 as its coefficient, so from equation 1, that's y, and from equation 2, that's y. So I can pick either equations. If I say from equation 1, equation 1 states that y minus 2x equals to 3. Making y the subject of formula, I have y equals, because 2x is negative on my left-hand side, if I move it over to my right-hand side, it's going to be positive, so that's plus 2x. I'm going to tag that as my third equation. So substituting equation 3 into my second equation, that's equation 2. Equation 2 states that y plus 3x equals minus 7. Replacing that with my y, which is now 3 plus 2x, I have 3 plus 2x plus 3x equals minus 7. Collecting like terms, I have 3 plus 5x equals minus 7. Taking 3 to the other side, I have 5x 
equals minus 7 minus 3. 5x equals minus 7 minus 3, that's minus 10. And to find x, it does need to divide both sides by 5. I have 5 here, 1. Therefore, my x equals minus 2. So I'm going to substitute x equals minus 2 into equation 3. From equation 3, I have y equals 3 plus 2x. So therefore, y equals 3 plus 2 times minus 2. That will be 3 plus 2 times minus 2. That's minus 4. Therefore, my y equals minus 1. So for this simultaneous equation, the value of x is minus 2 and the value of y is minus 1. Let's try out one more example. In this example, I have x plus 2y equals to 4 and 3x plus y equals to 7. I'm going to tag my equation accordingly. The first equation as equation 1 and the second as equation 2. Looking out for the equation that has 1 as its, or for the variable that has 1 as a coefficient, it's either I use x in the first equation or y in the second equation. So I can say from equation 1, equation 1 states that x plus 2y equals to 4. This time around, I'm going to make x my subject of formula. So therefore, my x equals taking 2y to the other side, it becomes a minus. And I'm going to tag that as my third equation. So substituting equation 3 into equation 2. Equation 2 states that 3x plus y equals to 7. So I'm going to replace every occurrence of x with 4 minus 2y. So I have 3 in bracket, 4 minus 2y plus y equals to 7. Expanding my bracket and collecting like terms, 3 times 4, 12 minus 3 times 2, 6y plus y equals to 7. That's 12 minus 5y equals to 7. Taking my 12 to the other side, I'm left with minus 5y equals 7 minus 12, which is minus 5. Dividing both sides by minus 5 to find y. This goes here 1. Therefore, my y equals positive 1. Minus 5 divided by minus 5, that's 1. Now I'm going to substitute y equals 1 into my third equation. My third equation states that x equals 4 minus 2y. And because I know the value of y to be 1, I have x equals 4 minus 2 times 1. x equals 4 minus 2. Therefore, my x equals 4 minus 2. That's 2. For, for this simultaneous equation, the value of y is 1 and the value of x is 2. Thanks for watching. Bye.